The Grange Hill community in Westmoreland is now under a murderous siege as five men have been killed in the escalating gang feud between the infamous King Valley Gang and the emerging Ants Posse Gang, who seemingly are locked in battle, for the spoils of criminal activities. In response to the spate of shootings and murders, security has been significantly boosted in the area as part of the overall effort to quell the lawlessness and restore order to the community. A former educator, who spoke to the media on condition of anonymity yesterday, said that due to the violence, residents have been running scared, especially in the Belle Isle section of the community, which is said to be the stronghold of the King Valley Gang and Crowder, the home turf of the Ants Posse. With the community still in mourning over Sunday night's killing of Shakeel Forest, which came sharply on the heels of the killing of three other men on Saturday, more grief was poured on the community yesterday morning at about nine o'clock, with the brazen murder of 25-year-old Norman Backridden. Like Saturday night's incident, in which Forrest was ambushed in the nearby little London community shortly after 10 p.m. and ran from his car in a bid to escape his killers, but was hunted down and shot dead. Backridden was riding his motorcycle in the vicinity of Belle Isle Road when he, too, was ambushed and shot multiple times and died on the spot. Backridden's mother, Juliette Reynolds, was the picture of grief, when the media spoke to her yesterday, some three hours after the tragic death of her son, the sixth of her seven children, she said she was at work when she got the news and had to be rushed off to get medical attention as her blood pressure went out of range. In speaking to the character of her son, Reynolds described him as a good man who was an excellent bike repair man and a caring son to her, in a philosophical way, she nonetheless gave thanks for his life. While the Ants Posse is new on the police's radar, the King Valley Gang surged to national prominence in 2020 when several members of the gang were arrested in a major operation that attracted national attention when they were charged with being part of a criminal organization. The gang's leader, Derval Lukey Williams, was subsequently convicted and is now serving time in prison. In light of recent incidents involving in-drive taxi service providers, Senior Superintendent Marlo Nesbeth, head of the St. Andrew Central Division, is urging heightened caution and due diligence among individuals offering in-drive taxi services. The call to action follows a series of reported incidents, including assaults, robberies, and murders involving in-drive taxi providers. Senior investigators at the Halfway Tree Criminal Investigation Branch are actively working on implementing measures to address the current challenges. SSP Nesbeth emphasizes the importance of prioritizing safety in response to calls for pickups. He said the police understand the critical role in-drive taxi providers play in our transportation system, but safety must remain paramount. It is imperative that individuals exercise caution and conduct necessary due diligence to protect both themselves and their passengers. The St. Andrew Central Division is working collaboratively to enhance security measures and address the reported incidents effectively. Investigators are exploring strategies to combat the current problem and ensure the safety of all citizens. Members of the public are encouraged to share information about criminal activities, as cooperation from the community is vital in addressing and preventing further incidents. The community of Swallowfield in St. Andrew remains tense, following the slaying of car wash operator Marlon Blair on Wednesday. When the local media visited the area, residents said the killing occurred at a terrible time. The St. Andrew Central Police Division reported that about 11 a.m., Blair, 46, was at his car wash when he was pounced upon by men who fired several shots in his direction, hitting him. He was rushed to the hospital, where he was pronounced dead. 
a woman who said she has a daughter with Blair, drowned her sorrows in a rum special. Her eyes welled up with tears as she described him as a hard-working and responsible individual. She stated that he has been operating his car wash for more than a decade. Meanwhile, St. Andrew Central has recorded a 56% increase in murders as at March 9, with 14 murders compared to 9 for the corresponding period last year. Management. Well, tell me, I go tell you about Jamaican Island. In a 1494, Columbus discovered the land. In a 1655, them took us to England. In a 1692, earthquake destroyed the land. In a 1773, who had not just said it act. In a 1838, began our freedom. In a 1865, a more rebellion. In a 1887, Marcus Banner sent on. In 1893, the birth of Norman Washington. In a 1938, riot paddle. Look here, we're not rapping our King T2 and we say, Welcome, Peter Metro! I can Peter Metro, man. Yes, man. Big up everybody all over the world who are celebrate Jamaica 58. What a year's of independence. What a thing, you look how far we have come from. 58 years of independence. Big up, Minister Grange. Yeah, man, a mini and Peter Metro. Chupa, away I give me. Yo, big up all the people who are proud to be a Jamaican. Like myself, right man. Hey, Ken Boone, a Peter mentioned the icon. Watch it, man. I say, all who proud to be Jamaican, don't make me sooner no one. People who no put up on no one. All who proud to be Jamaican, don't make me sooner no one. We want to put up your one. Put up your one because you love your band land. Sweet, sweet Jamaica, yeah, we come from. All who love sweet Jamaica, no put up on no one. Who listen to this truck? You know, a seven hero fight to free Jamaica. I know that that seven one was a woman. We got seven heroes of Jamaica. Paul Bogle, Daddy Sharp. And Daddy Bosta, Daddy Man, the William God, Marcos Mosaya, and Sister Nanny, she was a maroon leader. Now let's look on them, one after the other. William God did the white, he was a freedom fighter. Paul Bogle did black him a rebellion leader. But he was strict and then capture. And then them again a couple days later. No, take a look at Marcos Mosaya, born 1887, son of a papa due to his love for black and his brain power. He was on his way to free Africa when he was captured by some English soldier that even destroyed the black star liner and brought back him ashes to Jamaica. No daddy man Lee, daddy Buster man T, they all came from the same family fight to get independence for our country. And them choose the anthem and the flag theory. They won the first premier of our country with first prime minister was Buster man T. Me live to see more beat on the second city. The dollars and cents from the phone and penny. We highest mountain of blue mountain people that are 7,402 feet and when you reach the top you see the Cuban land well still me I go tell you about Jamaican island in a 1494 Columbus discovered the land in a 1655 them took us to England in a 1692 earthquake destroyed the land in a 1773 who had not just said it act in a 1838 began our freedom in a 1865 a Morampia rebellion in a 1887 Marcus Van Asen and 1893 the birth of Norman Washington in a 1938 Riot Padilla! Ah! Bull up! Bull up! I tell you now about the place in here. Boss the place, Jenny Jenny. The long time I see you. St. Elizabeth in a member, Minnie and Peter Metro. The baddest icon in a Jamaica. What me tell him, say? I say, all who pro to be Jamaican, don't make me so no one. Jenny, Jenny, put up your one. All who pro to be Jamaican, put up on no one. Who want you put up your one? Put up your one because you love your band land. Sweet, sweet Jamaica, here we come from. All who love sweet Jamaica, who do put up on no one. What me say? What me say? Me say the highest mountain is Blue Mountain Peak. I say my toes of 402 feet. And when you reach the top, you say the Cuban land. Well, till me, I go tell them about Jamaican Island. In a 1494, Columbus discovered the land. In a 1655, them took us to England. In a 1692, earthquake destroyed the land. In a 1773, who all us just said that act. In a 1838, we get our freedom. In a 1865, I'm a rebellion. In a 1887, Marcus Banner sent on. 
1893, the birth of Norman Washington in 1938, riot upon the land in 1944, won the first election in 1952, the Queen coronation in 1962, we get to liberation in 1988, Gilbert mash up the land 2004, is Hurricane Ivan 2008, we drop an next bomb You see in Bolton and Fraser Shelley on Mash up the agenda, make them know so we are the done We have the world record and the record since and so Put up your one, your papa, your vehicle, and now Buy it to your ass Woo!